Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about my Inktober project from 2020 where I did 31 illustrations from start to finish and how I compiled it all into a little A5 booklet. So here you'll see some of the illustrations from the challenge that I did in Inktober. Um, basically what I did was that I created a character and all the prompts, the Inktober prompts, that we used such as wisp, food, um, dune, uh, I think where was a puddle as well. Um, yeah, all of those basically um, were used around the character and basically explaining her story. So her name is Finch and she is like an art or design student. I think she's a sculpture student actually. Um, she has two mothers and basically she's a fairy and she doesn't know it. So the prompts explore that side of her, just a bit more about her and, you know, her personality and the fairy part that she clearly doesn't know. Um, so yeah, so basically with that I completed during Inktober, I completed all 31 illustrations. I did them all in line art instead of color and watercolor, um, just because I wanted to keep things a bit simple and really just capture the character in a better way and not make it so complicated because obviously 31 illustrations is very tiring and I know a lot of people do struggle a bit um, when completing these challenges. So basically with that, I then took one of the illustrations that I used for, um, for this challenge and I basically scanned it. I scanned all of the illustrations. I cleaned them up and make sure they were all perfectly sized for a booklet form or for print. And then I took one illustration that showed the main character, a bit more of the main character's body, her face, her hair, her shirt, and something she really likes. So in this, the cover for the Inktober 2020 book that I have designed basically has her holding a vinyl disc and that is obviously like something she's very interested in. So I basically took this illustration and then I put it into a digital program to color it, which is, um, as you can see while I'm coloring this illustration, I am using a Samsung tablet that is actually a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Um, it was a 2016 model, I think, from what I can remember, so it's not super new. Um, it has a Samsung Note Pen, so it's very easy to use for drawing. Um, the program that I used for this was Autodesk Sketchbook, so it's a free drawing program, quite similar to Procreate, um, and obviously was around before Procreate started you know, being very popular, and basically you can use it on all Android tablets, phones, whatever the case may be, even on your desktop, your PC, your laptop. Um, so the main reason why I use this is obviously because it's free, so I don't have to pay any fee, which is something I'll talk about in another video. Um, but basically with this you can draw, you can do um, everything, it's got different types of brushes, it has pencil brushes, watercolor brushes, acrylic, oil, glow, you name it. Um, you can also screen record or basically record your process, but you have to do it manually. So you actually have to just start recording um, from the beginning and it will basically record. Um, quite similar to Procreate, but slightly different, more manual. Um, so yeah, I basically use this to color. Um, I'm also using a universal disk nib, which is basically a pen that has a disc nib so it's very precise um, considering the Samsung no, um, note pen that I had the nibs wore quite easily so I had to keep replacing them even though I had replacements um, it just kept getting worn so my dad actually gave this pen to me I didn't buy it um, he gave it to me and I basically used it to draw and it's very precise it doesn't require any bluetooth doesn't require any connections anything it just works on any screen so uh, that's ex what you see in here using it to color um, to do the lines and everything like that so basically I'm just drawing out everything. I already picked out all the colours and I sort of knew, I had a feeling of like what she would look like and what the colours of the illustration would look like. So here I'm just basically touching things up. 
Um, so basically what I normally do is that I scan all of my Inkto or in general, if I do a pen illustration or a watercolor illustration, um, unless it's digital, um, basically what I would do is that I would then take it to my printer scanner. <laughs> so I have a Canon Pixma printer that also has an, uh, a scanner attached to it and it scans up to 600 DPI. Um, unfortunately, I thought it scanned up to 1200, but it doesn't. However, the scanning quality of 600 DPI is surprisingly very good, considering I had a basic Canon printer that also scanned to that size. And it was also good, but it's not as good as this one, um, obviously. So I use it to scan, I then take it into Photoshop, the um, scanned illustration, I clean it up, I make sure that there's no random dots or scratches or pencil marks or anything. So I just clean up the illustration and then I cut it or crop it to size. And then basically with that, I then upload or I keep, I do that for all the files and I make sure they're all organized. And then I upload it to Google Drive to then upload it to Autodesk. Um, and then, so basically once I've done all these illustrations, I wanted to make a book from it just to basically have a little compilation of the work that I did, the project, a bit more about the character, um, because I do want to take this character further, definitely. So with that, I then put, well, I created an InDesign document that basically is an A5, where I then set up the amount of pages I need, the front cover, the back cover. So I set all of that up for print. Um, currently, I will actually be having to make another a copy of this InDesign file and actually set it up for digital PDF reading and EPUB because this was sort of during the pandemic, but I really didn't have a mind to launch it digitally. I was going to print it, thinking that there was an event that I was going to attend to sell this, <laughs> which unfortunately did not happen due to the pandemic. Um, so here you can basically see me setting up the final illustration, how it looks as the front cover. So the way that the printing is set up is basically that the right is the front cover and the left is the back cover on the same page. So usually when setting up for printing, um, this is the way that I've experienced it because I print everything at home currently. Um, I don't outsource my printing. I do it all here. So I set it up already beforehand so that as soon as it's printed I can literally fold it and bind it um, and basically it's already set up all the pages are organized so that's basically what I'm doing here is just making sure everything is perfectly organized and just setting up all the pages and everything like that um, here I'm mostly just showing the cover unfortunately I don't think I recorded more of the page setup but I will definitely talk a bit more of that in another video because I also did Inktober last year, last year, um, 2021 as well. And that one was actually, unfortunately, less illustrations for specifically Inktober, but more, um, more watercolor painting. So definitely more color, definitely a bit more vibrant than just the line art. So yeah, you can basically just see me finalizing things here. Um, if you have any questions about my setup, I will be doing a slightly more in-depth video of how I do this. Um, obviously, just for those that really want to know the process. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching my video. I hope that you had a great time listening to this and just watching a bit more of my process for how I did Inktober 2020. Um, if you like my channel and you like my content, please like and subscribe. It really means a world of a difference. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.